Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. Today I'm going to show you how to create this cute little box that will hold 3x3 three three cards and envelopes. Inside I have 10 note cards. And they were all done with the patterned occasion stamp set. The stamp set right here that's free with a $50 order until the 22nd. So you only have one more day to get that. Place a $50 order and that stamp set is free. So I like it because it's you cover all the different occasions. And they're just cute, quick little cards. And then 10 envelopes. And then the little box was made with our scallop envelope die in the Big Shot. So those all fit in there very nicely. And this is just a cute gift that you can give to a teacher, bus drivers, um, Easter, birthday, whatever. Just a cute little gift that you can give. And I just put thank you, but you can change the sentiment to anything you want. So I'm going to show you how to create that box. The first thing you're going to need is our scallop envelope die, which is this one right here. And then uh, my card box base is the basic gray, and this is cut to five and a quarter by four and three quarters, so it just fits over top of where we need to cut. We need a plate underneath and then a plate on top. And then I'm going to run that through the big shot. Now when you do this, you need two boxes. Two envelopes, I should say. Two of these scallop envelopes. You need two of these. If you run them both at the same time, it tends to cut the edge. And you don't want that. So do run them through individually. Now... I'm not going to run another one through, I'm just going to show you. So you're going to fold on those score lines, like so. And you're going to do that to both pieces. One you're going to leave the back straight, and then on the other one you're going to fold it. So when you have both of them, here's two, okay? And I have them all folded, and then I'm going to show you where you're going to put your sticky strip. Now on the one I have folded to the front, I have sticky strip on each flap and then across the bottom here. And then on this one, same thing, but we're not going to fold this. This is our back side. So we're going to leave that sticking up. So you can see how this is all going to go like Oops, shoot, I folded that the wrong way. Like this. So now what we have to do is we have this other band. And this is cut one and a half by seven and three quarters. And then it's scored at two and a quarter, three and a quarter, and then you have two and a quarter left. And that is going to fit just like this. So now you have the box. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the sticky strip off. Oops. And I'm just going to start on the side and I'm just going to match that up like that and reinforce it. Come across the bottom and then up this side here. Okay, now this one is going to have the flat folding down in the front, so it's going to go just like this. So I'm going to remove the sticky strip again. I'm going to line up my base like so. This flap has to go inside. And this side has to go. 
So there is my box. How simple is that? Now what I did was I took the Builder Brad here. I want one of those and then I want just one of the little, whoops, one of the little pebbles. This is a piece of designer series paper. It's the Sunshine and Sprinkles, I think is the name of it. And I'm just gonna put that on the front and that is cut two inches by three. And I'm gonna fit that. I'm gonna center that in my front, just like that. Put my flap down. I'm gonna come in with this 1 16th inch hand punch and punch a hole. I'm going to stick my build a brad in there. It's not cooperating with me. There we go. Fan my little prongs out in the back. Now, what I did on the front here, this one I'm a little higher than the last one. I have some more of that designer series paper and then I got the punch from the itty bitty punches pack. And I'm gonna take a glue dot and I'm gonna stick that right there in the center and then I'm gonna put my little page pebble over the top. Just like that. Then I made a thank you banner with the Baja Breeze. I'm going to just take a couple glue dots again. And I'll fan that underneath there like that. And there's that. Now to create my little 3x3 three three cards, I used the Scallop Dual Square Punch. Layer that on there. Clear pad on bottom, clear plate on top, run it through the bake shop, and then you get this. Now the card itself is cut, I believe it's two, yep, yeah, two and three quarters by five and a quarter, and then you fold that in half. Take my bone fold. Put my adhesive on, center that on that set gallop square there. Then I cut, I punched out, um, I think it's one and three eighths. I'll have it on the blog. Scallop circle out of Daffodil Delight. Now I'm not gonna give you all the colors and stuff on, on my blog because you can do it any colors that you want. These are just the ones that I chose. This is the Pattern Occasions. This is the Happy Birthday the Cupcake one. I just took the coordinating markers and I'm gonna marker, ink up my stamp with the marker. That was Daffodil Delight. This is Baja Breeze. And then this is the Basic Gray. So the colors that I chose to use are the Basic Gray, Daffodil Delight, and Baja Breeze. Stamp that on a piece of white. And then I'm going to take the one and three fourths, I think it is, or three eighths inch circle punch. Punch that out, which I don't have it right here. And that gets matted on that. And then you have your three by three envelopes, which will go in here. So there you, it fits 10 of those little note cards and envelopes, 10 envelopes. So there you have that cute little scallop box. Thanks for stopping by.